So what's up? We've got a problem here where you've got to fill in the blanks and there's only two things you got to fill in but I figured oh, I would do a little color coded explanation for you. So what you've got to do is first say for line 2 the reason is the partition postulate you just write partition and I put in parentheses another way you could have said it so you don't have to put both you could have just put one or whole is equal to the sum of its parts okay but what do you do after that it starts to get a little bit complicated I've color coded all the pieces that are equal to one another and if you start with AE plus ED is equal to AD well that's all this shit over here right oh fuck me computer went off uh, that's what that reckon ah uh, I should probably turn that shit off okay Hold on, I'll be right back. Fucking computer. Okay, so back to what we were saying. Now what you do is you could use the fact that you could replace AE with FB. So that's what I did over here. I said IE and then instead of AE I wrote um FB or BF, don't matter, same shit. Okay, and similarly, what you can do is you can say that AD can be replaced with CF. So you've got AD there, you've got CF there. Or FC, same shit, doesn't matter. Okay, um, but then it would still be equal to AD. Why? Because you're just replacing it with what it's equal to. So you're not doing anything that should force you to change the ID. So the ID just stays as ID. Okay, so what's the reason for that? It's substitution postulate. In fact, we took two substitutions, but we could still just run it all at once. Then the obvious question is, why the fuck would you want to do that? Well, it's a bit complicated, but it's not so complicated if we color coordinate it. So we're going to use the transitive property they already gave us, um, what we've got to prove, and they told us we've got to do it using the transitive property. But then, how do we do it? Well, uh, the transitive property can be written in terms of equations as if x is equal to a and x is equal to b, then a is equal to b. Well, since they're both equal to x, right? So let's see how you would actually use that. Oh, right there, because now we've got two things that is both equal to BF plus FC. And how convenient, they're exactly the things that we want to prove um, are equal to each other. The um, thing that we could call A and the thing that we could call B.